Hey guys, how you doing? This is Benjamin with Benjamin Exotics, and in this video today, <clears throat> sorry, uh, we're going to be looking at, is your ball python going into the shed? We're going to talk a few reasons why your ball python could be going into the shed. Uh, you know, besides the obvious, it's just growing, or it needs to, in order to get bigger. And we're going to look at a few different ways to identify if your snake had a good shed, or if you might need to raise your humidity a little bit. Um, so first of all, why does a snake go into shed? Well, besides growing, uh, many people don't always talk about this, um, and it's kind of a good thing uh, for the ball python. So the main reason is because they're growing, of course. But if your ball python receives any injury to the scale, like getting scale rot, getting burnt, that also can kick them into shed. Because their body's going, oh well, you know, I'm hurt, I'm injured, my scales are damaged, what's it going to do? It doesn't just want to sit around. Your snake can actually kick itself into shed. Its brain can go from, I've seen it before, I had one of my snakes get burnt um, once on a light bulb, very bad uh, accident. It was Well, I say very bad. It was an accident. Um, I will never do that again, or I'll never let it, you know, do that to itself again. But... I mean, it was an accident, it wasn't actually that bad, but it just burnt some scales on its neck. Um, probably ten or so scales going up its neck. So it was, it was, it was not great, but it was not, you know, the end of the world. It was not like the snake is going to then die from this. Uh, you never want that to happen to your snake, of course, but it's just something, you know, if it happens, it happens, it happens. You gotta deal with it. So, uh, one of the reasons, and, you know, after my snake burnt itself, as I was saying, it just kicked itself right into shed literally a week later. I think it had shed about a month before that, and it was not due for a shed for about two or three months, but it kicked itself into shed because its body knew it had to heal itself. So, uh, most people don't talk about that, but that is one of the reasons your snake can uh, go into shed, uh, besides just, you know, average growth. There are a few other things, like um, if you start feeding more, or if your snake hasn't been eating for a while and it starts eating lots of meals consecutively, that can also kick it into a shed. Now... <laughs> I have a, I've been saving up for quite a while, um, snake sheds, uh, just to show you guys how a snake shed should most likely and probably look, um, if, uh, you want to see how your, you know, husbandry is doing. So, this is right here, one of the things we want to see when we do a shed. You can see right there's the head, we can see that both eye caps came off the snake, one eye cap on this side and one eye cap on that side, great. So it got its eye caps off, it's in one piece, maybe torn a little bit at the top, great. Uh, that's how you want a snake shed to look. You can also have it look like this, where the snake sheds and then rolls over it a bunch, and because it then gets dried out by a light or a heat pad, it just comes up into a little convenient ball. You could take this apart while it's still wet and make sure the eye cap and everything was still on, but besides that, uh, if I tried to do it right now, of course it would rip. So that's, you know... A good indicator this is also what I would consider a good shed this sheds kind of stuck in itself though so you can't really see the entire snake um, and then they have a few others now if the snake shed basically whole like this and then it broke off a little piece but then you find the other whole piece that's also okay it doesn't necessarily mean you have any husbandry issues it just means that the snake while it was shedding broke its shed in half on something so uh, these are examples of good sheds. Now we're going to look at what it would look like if you know your snake had a bad shed. If you come in and there's a bunch of pieces like this, basically looking like the shed got hit with a shotgun, a bunch of little shattered pieces like this, this is this means your humidity is too low. Okay, Even if it sheds completely, um, it, it normally, there is always the case where your snake just had a bad shed, but if it generally looks like this, it looks like your snake... You know, you took the snake shed and it got shot by a shotgun. Um, <laughs> you know, that basically means that your snake, in most cases, the humidity was a little bit too low. So just next time, raise the humidity a little bit. Um, and those are basically the signs of, you know, a good or bad shed. If it looks like a shotgun shot it, it you pro humidity was okay, but it probably could have been higher to have a better shed. Um, your snake can't actually damage its scales if it tries to shed while the humidity is too low. And, of course, if it looks like one of those examples I just showed you, uh, then you know that your snake did have a good shed. Um, the most common I normally find are either in a little ball like this with the smaller snakes, because they'll shed and then they'll roll over it and then it'll get dried out by the light and it'll turn into a little ball like this. 
or something like this. Normally not a complete piece, normally damages a little bit at the top, like right here, but then the rest of the... Oops, hold on a second. So the shed, as I said, will just be good. So this is a good example of what you want a shed to look like. Or it could also be like this where, like with the ball, it started to roll back, but it just didn't finish all the way. So uh, those are pretty good examples of what you want a shed to look like. And as you can see, I've collected for about the last month of my snake sheds, and this is about what I got. Um, sometimes they did good normally the smaller ones do better um, sometimes I don't catch it quick enough and I can't raise the humidity fast enough and it does end up in a bad shed but most of the time it's still even if it's a bad shed it's still in longer pieces as you can see like that so I rarely have bad sheds where they get caught on and need to give the snake a bath but uh, we can talk about that in another video so now what are the signs that your snake are going into shed now unfortunately um, I couldn't really time it the best uh, in the making of this video, so we're going to look at a general look at what it looks like when your snake going into shed. So here's your first example. Um, this is just knowing, you've seen this guy before in other videos, if you haven't you can go check those out. This is my spider male ball python and you can tell he's getting a little bit duller looking at his patterns. He's definitely um, not as bright as he normally is. He's got more of a, almost a, you know, shiny look to him. And that's basically the scale produces, I forget what it's called, I read about it in one of my reptile books a while ago, but it produces this, you know, wet substance under the uh, keratin, under the scales, and that's what gives it its shiny and changing, you know, color look. So, the biggest sign to tell, now this does not mean your snake could just be on really wet bedding and not be having a, you know, the uh, ideal uh, habitat, but as you can see, See how the belly has, it's not pure white, it's got like a pinkish tint to it. Almost, you can kind of see that. That's really your uh, key tail sign that your snake's going into shed. Um, uh, once you see that, along with the darkening of the color, you're almost certain he'll go into shed. Now, depending on how old the snake is and what their conditions were for going into shed, this stage will last for about a week or so. The next stage will basically be the same. The snake will get even darker, but the main thing you're going to see with that stage is when we look at the snake's eye. Chill out for just a second, buddy. With the snake's eye, uh, we're going to see that it's going to get cloudy. Now, you can see it's pr are pretty clear right now, but it's going to get cloudy, almost like a bluish in some snakes. So, after that, you're going to go in and you're going to look at the snake's cage one day, and you're not going to see a shed, but you're going to see that the snake's looking better. It almost looks like it did shed, like this pastel female right here. You'll go in and you'll notice she's not shining as much as she should. You'll, this is, will be your thoughts to yourself, of course, but you'll say she's not shining as much as she should, or my snake is not, you know, as bright as they should be, but it's still looking pretty good. And once that ha has happened, it's going to literally be a day or so until the snake sheds. That means all of the, you know, uh, the, the process of creating the new scale layer underneath is done, and all the snake has to do is just wait for the final touches to be done before it can shed. And this is a nice pastel heck clown girl I unboxed a little bit ago. Um, she'll get a meal in the next few days, hopefully, uh, since she just shed. But, uh, just real quick note, she's about 200 grams to give you guys a rough, uh, estimate or oh no actually she's about 260 grams so sorry just to show you guys how big she is because there's nothing really to compare to except the container but they'll look like this and then one day you'll pop in just like i did this morning and you'll see something like this uh if it's wet that means that the snake probably literally just shed so you're lucky that's when you want to work with it but this shed's dry so if i try to work with the shed and try to like move it and uh bend it out a little bit it's gonna break so Hope this uh, helps some of you guys. Uh, very simple to identify if your snakes in shed. No, like other species of lizards, especially like leopard geckos, snakes will never eat their shed. Um, they could accidentally ingest it if it's less left in their tank, but they're never going to purposely eat their shed. Um, if it does a wrapping, though, uh, tell me about it in the comments because uh, I would really like to hear that story because I've never heard of it. But uh, they're not really made to eat their shed. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hope this helps some of you guys in identifying if your humidity was right, what you're looking for when your snake sheds, and how to identify if your snake's in shed or not. So, uh, if you guys have any comments or questions, suggestions for future videos, please leave it down in the comments. If you enjoyed this tip video, uh, please give it a like. Uh, this channel is not going anywhere. We'll be posting content 
every week, uh, if not daily. Uh, I try to do daily, but sometimes, you know, things get a little bit delayed. But as I've already said probably three times, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.